Hey everybody, this is Derek from Housetop Media. Today I'm going to show you how to use a program called Audacity to clean up your recorded sermons and make them sound great for podcasting and MP3s. Um, you can get Audacity for free downloading it online. Just go to Google and search for Audacity. It's A-U-D-A-C-I-T-Y and it's the first search result you get. Alright, so let's get started here. First of all, we're going to open up Audacity and the first step you need to do is to import your recorded sermon so whether that's on a USB thumb drive or on a CD or wherever you have that you're just going to want to come to file go to import go to audio and then select the file you want to import and then click open now this could range from a few seconds or uh, a few minutes to import depending on how long your file is and where it's located all right, we're almost done importing. Okay, now the first thing we want to do is we want to rearrange our workspace a little bit to make it a little bit easier to work with. So we're going to grab the bottom of this audio track here with this, um, with your mouse and drag it down so we get a bigger, fuller view. Um, we're also going to go over here to the sidebar with a little upside down triangle and click on that and we're going to select from that drop down list waveform db now what this is going to show you is actually how loud the audio is throughout the track and that i find that a little bit more useful for what we're using this to edit all right now that we've imported our file and uh, set up the view we want the next step we're going to do is to trim the start and end points of the sermon so the way we're going to do that is we're going to click anywhere here near the beginning and then go up to our magnifying glass and click on it to zoom in on that section and we're just going to listen to see uh, where the correct right, intro folks. point is I'm going to ask you to begin to find your ways back to your seats okay let's skip forward a little bit let's turn together to Matthew chapter 28 alright so um, this is our correct starting point so we're just going to want to click on that line when we get it at the correct starting point hold it down to the left mouse button and drag it across to highlight the section we want to delete once it's highlighted simply press the delete key and we're gonna get rid of that now let's zoom out and we're gonna to try to find our exit point end of the sermon we'll click near the end here and we'll zoom in on that Listen. The Lord, you command to give us the grace to run with your command. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, so there's our exit point. So we're going to click where we want to delete the end and hold down the left mouse button, highlight that section, hit delete. And so now we've trimmed our start and end points. I zoom back out so we can get a view of the whole audio track again. All right. Now the next step we want to do is we want to amplify all this audio. Um, the way we're going to do that, select all of it. You can either grab one end and highlight it all by dragging across like that. Or an easier way is on an Apple computer you can hit Command and then A. On a Windows computer, you can hit Control and A, and it highlights everything. Uh, then we're going to go up to Effect, and we're going to go to Amplify. And you'll notice there's already a number in this box here of how much it's going to amplify by. And we're just going to leave that alone. We're going to make sure that it says the new peak amplitude is 0, 0.0, and the Allow Clipping box, make sure it is not checked. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. And we're going to give that a minute to render the amplification. All right, we fast forwarded time here a little bit to uh, get done rendering the amplification. And in just a second, yeah, you'll see everything got bigger. Now, uh, bigger things mean louder things. So everything was amplified. Now, if you listen, you'll all hear authority in heaven and the earth audio is a lot louder than it was before. I am above all now that we've amplified the audio the next thing we're going to want to do is what's called compressing the audio and what that is is if you look across from the beginning of the sermon to the end you'll see there's some segments 
that are much louder than others. So you hit there, hit here in the middle, and it's a lot quieter. Then you hit loud parts again. Now, what this means is if somebody's listening on an MP3 player or on their stereo system, they're going to be having to turn up and down the volume level if they don't want it to be really loud and then really quiet. Um, so compression is what fixes that and makes the whole sermon closer to the same volume level. Um, the way we're going to do that is we're going to select everything again and we're going to go up to effect and go to the compressor. Now in this you'll see a bunch of sliders, don't get scared by them. Um, I'm going to walk you through here how to set this up. Um, on the noise floor, I believe the default is set to negative 40 decibels. I've left it there. The ratio, I've set 3 to 1. Now you can experiment with this on your own and see um, what you like as far as for how it sounds. Don't have a lot of time to get into exactly um, the inner workings of compressors in this video. We'll do that in another tutorial. Um, then attack time and decay time, just make sure those sliders are all the way to the left for what we're using them for. And then the check boxes at the bottom, make sure both of them are checked. Now the thing that you are going to change from week to week and from speaker to speaker will be what's called the threshold. And that is the starting point when the compressor starts working, how loud this compressor starts working. And the way we're going to set that is by looking at the audio and looking at this meter on the side. You'll see all these numbers on the side. Those are numbers showing how loud the audio is. Um, on the quieter parts, you're going to look and see where is the bulk of audio on the quieter sections. And then follow that across over to here. And you'll see it's somewhere in between 12 and 9. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a number closer to 9 because I don't want to compress, I don't want to make the quieter audio quieter. I just want to make the louder audio quieter so that it, it makes the whole sermon about the same audio level. And then after it makes it all the same level, this little checkbox down here that says make up gain for 0 decibel after compressing, what that's going to do is it's going to reamplify the entire sermon again so that um, the whole volume level is brought up, but it's going to be more consistent now. So on this threshold here, we said we wanted to pick between um, 12 and 9. So I'm going to go for 10, set it for 10, and then click OK. And then it's going to take a few minutes to process this compression. So once again, we're going to fast forward time here and come back in a second when it's ready.